The crypto space has seemingly found its footing and bullish sentiment is re-entering the market. My name is Kyle and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to check in on the price action of Chainlink as the Chainlink bulls seem to be stepping in and are getting Chainlink ready for some higher price levels. Let's pull up this chart and take a look. Chainlink up on the daily chart. And Chainlink looking really good today. This nice green celery stick getting back up above the 21, 30, as well as the 10. And the next two hours likely to close this daily candle body above all major notable moving averages. A very good look for Chainlink. Just yesterday, it stabbed the 55 exponential moving average. And at the time of recording, that 55 is living around $26.78. Looking left, I see Chainlink failed to close any daily candle bodies below that 55, even off this disgusting pullback right here. It got down, stabbed the 89 exponential moving moving average, but the bulls were sitting right there to buy things back up. And as you can see, Chainlink was happy to pivot off that 55 and begin to work its way back up higher. And once again, it is doing it right here. The 55 is a great exponential moving average to pay attention to on daily charts in daily uptrends. As it's uh, fairly common, you'll see uh, pivot points stuck in on the market around that 55. And of course, I always just go with the daily candle body closures as my uh, confirmations and conditions to be met that that's likely what's going on. I'd like to see Chainlink uh, get it back up above this uh, horizontal right here that's coming in at $31.91. If Chainlink is able to close some daily candle bodies above that horizontal, it's very likely to test this purple box liquid zone here up at the top. And that is a bottom side coming in around $34.50 and a top side coming in around $35.50. Getting daily candle body closures up above that liquid zone and confirming it as support, then I think Chainlink is ready for its next major run to the upside. Looking down at the volume signature, I see the volumes beginning to pick up, getting above the moving average as well as taking out the, the last several days of volume reads so it looks to me that the bulls are going to make an attempt to step back in here drop down the rsi the rsi getting back above the exponential moving average in the neutral zone and has its sight set on the edge of the bulls control zone so it'll be interesting to see where price action is at if and when the rsi decides to test the edge of that uh, bullish control zone Dropping down below to the stochastics. Stochastics are looking for a fresh cross to the upside and are looking to have found support on the edge of the bearish control zone. So this is another good look for Chainlink as the price action looks to make some moves to the upside. Dropping down below to the MACD. So the MACD is losing all its negative momentum here on the histogram. Uh, there's no signals present here, no, so there's no bullish crosses. And uh, typically, I don't take those signals anyways. They're not the most actionable thing. However, when you see those signals come in, when there's confluence with other things like major areas on a chart, could be uh, you know a major horizontal, could be a liquid zone, could be divergences. That's when these uh, signals become uh, more actionable. But hey, I'll never complain about a bullish cross when it's rhyming with uh, with other oscillators as well as the price action. So overall, I'd say let's just give that a half point on the board for the bulls. But Chainlink's looking good here. Uh, it seems probable that over time it's going to, at the very least, retest this purple box liquid zone. Of course, I don't get too far ahead of myself. I look for the daily candle body closure first and foremost above this horizontal. Then I'll be looking to that. But getting those daily candle body closures above that liquid zone. And then I think Chainlink is, uh, is ready to move to the upside once again. So overall, things are looking good. It's nice to see the market finding its footing here. It's nice to see good projects like Chainlink looking to uh, looking to uh, get back going to the upside here. So let's pay attention to this. Let's watch what happens here over the next uh, week or so to come because things could get interesting. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Hope you're all doing well out there. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, have yourselves a powerful day.